Now I'm a fan of minimalist design. I don't like carrying around big bulky things in my pocket. Um, especially today with all the things people carry around, wallet, keys, mobile phones that are just getting bigger and bigger, accessories, pens, whatever you carry on you, in your pockets, the last thing you wanna be taking up a lot of space, it's your wallet. Uh, this is my current wallet. As you can see, it's a very sort of slim design. Um, Three-stage sort of fold-out, doo-doom, and the cards in the middle. Not much room for coins or anything like that, but I don't really like to carry coins at all. Um, so I was very excited when I was given the opportunity to have a look at and sort of share my thoughts on this brand new wallet here by Caricom 2. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful, sleek design, and their goal is what I strive for is minimalism. So they want you to take up as little room in your pocket and your wallet as possible so you don't have big, bulky, thick, fat wallets sticking out your leg, it looks weird, or you, if you have it in your back pocket, you sit on it, you throw your hips out, absolutely terrible. So, I'm very excited today to see if we can get all of this into this and see if I can reduce my overall form factor. And if we just have a look at the wallet um, straight off the bat, it feels, the finish feels really nice in the hand. It's not, see my old wallet, um, the leather here, it's very sort of the shiny finish. Um, this wallet does have a bit of shine to it, but it's a little bit, more, I'd say sort of a matte finish. Um, it comes in several colors, the blue, uh, as you can see, is my favorite color. Um, we got this nice tan leather in the middle. Here, we got two pullouts. So you can store like a bunch of your cards in here, pull out the tab, quickly access the one you want. And when you push your cards back in, that tab will go back in nicely. Um, we got some main slots here on the left and right for our most sort of used cards. Uh, we have a little bit of information about the wallet here. So primary cards. Place your main everyday use cards in these slots for super quick access. So I'll probably put my travel card, one of my bank cards in there that I use every day. Um, the in inner pocket designed for your infrequently used cards, the ones that, you know, maybe rewards cards, things like that. But as more and more rewards cards go mobile through Google Pay, or Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, it's all on your phone anyway. So you're reducing your form factor just, just vicariously through that. Now, a really cool thing about this wallet is the, the whole wallet is RFID protected. So you can put in your travel card, your bank cards, uh, and you'll be protected from any sort of scanner. Um, the only downside is that with is if you are on sort of public transport, say in Sydney uh, with Opal cards or Melbourne with your Mikey cards, uh, you can't sort of just tap your wallet to the sensor. But again, now recently here in Melbourne, Mikey's gone mobile on um, Google Pay, so you can just use your phone for that now. So, and look, it, using your wallet for j j less and less likely. So I'd take security over that any day. Um, in the back here, we got really nice sort of blue finish inside uh, for your notes. Uh, looks like there's a sort of another card spot back here. Um, and then you got your coin, your coin purse uh, in the side here. And look, I, I'm not a big fan of sort of the coin purses in these minimalist design wallets um, because coins, they take up space. They just add bulk to your wallet immediately. So look, do you need a coin purse in these wallets? I'd probably say no, but you want to try and please everyone. I mean, you don't have to use it, right? G give them the option. Um, I'm probably not going to use the coin purse. Um, quickly looking at this, it, it, it is a bit awkward to sort of get in there and, and fish around with your, your finger to sort of scoop up a coin. If you have more than, say, like a $2 coin in there, you're going to be adding like a heap of bulk to the front of it. And like, that's just going to happen with any wallet. Like here, I have a few coins. Like I have a dollar thirty in this wallet, and, it, and you can see like just immediately, just bulk added to the thing. So like, you want to keep this as flat as smooth as possible. So look, I'm I'm never been a fan of coins, even before my entire life when we needed more coins, but now everything's you know tap, pay, Google Pay, pay with your phone, whatever. You know the the need to use coins is less and less likely. 
Um, so the wallet's sustainably sourced, vegetable tanned, full grain leather, and a lifetime of happy service. Um, it looks good. This wallet looks good. Um, the stitching looks pretty solid. Um, there is a lot of stitching sort of around all the things, but that's given with any wallet. And sometimes over time, those can come a bit loose, especially sort of the inner one, which is happening to this current wallet. Um, but no, it looks good so far. Now, let's see if we can transfer this into this and see what it looks like. So I've transferred all my cards from my previous wallet to the new wallet and look, I have to say, even this wallet here with no cards in it is the same, pretty much the same height as uh, the Karakoma 2, um, which is really cool. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Um, so it is a bit wider compared to my old wallet by about that much. Uh, negligible difference. Um, as you can see in my pocket, both fit nicely. I like, I do like the kind of the little bit of wider because it sort of sits nicely across your leg rather than this one did feel a little bit kind of just like that, uh, just a little bit on my leg. Um, look, it's, it's a little bit firm straight out of the box and that, you know, being leather, that will soften up over time. And like this thing is basically a little bit of a jello mess. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so you do get a bit of a bump um, where the cards are, but I think over time as the wallet loosens up, it'll, be, it'll mold around the cards a little bit better. It won't look so stiff as it does now here, fresh out of the box. Um, but overall, first impressions, very impressed. Um, it feels lovely, it looks great. I love the color, the black is, is it's just too boring now. I love the blue, as, as you can see, blue is my favorite color. Um, it feels really nice. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine cards in this wallet. Um, <laughs> I think that's too many. I could probably get rid of a couple of cards here. Like I got my Mikey card in here that I could just go to mobile. So like, I don't need that. And a good thing, one of the best things about getting a new wallet is it makes you take stock of your old cards and your old wallet. Cause when you're transferring everything across to a new wallet, you, you look at cards from two years ago and you're like, why have we been carrying this around this whole time? This is an expired card. What am I doing? So if anything, getting a new wallet it'll reduce the size of your cards just because you're kind of forced to, uh, to, to take stock and get rid of your cards. Um, yeah, look, as I, look, I got some coins here. Um, now, the only thing that I would say is the coin purse, I probably wouldn't use it. Um, it's a little bit awkward to get to. Um, you gotta get your, your wacky coins in. Um, so, but um, look, I'm, not bad, not bad actually, I'm quite surprised. Like if you remember in my in the other wallet, they kind of um, were really bulgy, but I, I whacked them in there and you can barely even notice. Um, so that's not bad actually. Look, I wouldn't keep more than like $2 in there to be honest with you. Um, so as you can see, I'm kind of, I gotta kind of get my finger in there and fish around for it. There's $1, 20, 30 cents. So look, but I'm not a big coin user, and if you're in the market for this type of wallet, you're probably not a big coin user either. You want a really slim, sleek, beautiful looking, feeling great wallet. 
that you're not gonna pack full of cards. You're not gonna shuck in $10 worth of coins in there. You're gonna mostly be using your phone to pay for things or one bank card tap and pay. You might keep a couple of notes in here. Uh, you're gonna keep it very minimalist. Um, this is the perfect wallet for you. Um, I absolutely love it. And I can't wait for this to soften up over time. And uh, I look very much forward to giving you an update in say a couple of months to let you know how everyday use has gone with this wallet. And uh, we'll also test the RFID uh, capabilities very shortly to see if it actually is RFID proof.